Hey everyone, this is Sunglass Rob from SportRx and I'm here with my friend, once intern, now pro <laughs> cycling racer, Evan Christensen. Hello, hello, how are and we? Good, you're racing for UCLA right now? Yeah, UCLA and actually uh, SDBC too, San Diego Bicycle Club. San Diego Bicycle Club, well, they meet up right up team. the street there yeah, yeah, every Saturday. Local team. I used to do the B ride. Oh yeah? I couldn't hang with the A ride. Yeah, A ride's a little rough. Is it true you just won UCLA Athlete, Athlete of the Year? Athlete of the Year, that was pretty cool. Uh, I got third at Nationals this year. What? We, uh, we took third in team time trial and then the day after I got third in the crit. If all that isn't legit enough, you should see his tan lines because whole <laughs> All right, so we're here to talk about the best road cycling glasses of 2018. Mm -hmm. Evan has actually worked here, did some internship in marketing. He loves glasses. We love Evan. Love Evan loves us. There's a lot of like, a lot of stuff mutual going. Yeah, mutual. Right yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. We're going to talk about a bunch of our favorite glasses. There's 12 here. I'm um, not going to go into super detail on every single pair. We probably have or will have a video on almost every pair out here already because like they're the best glasses. Um, but do you think we should go in order? Do you want to pick one? What should we do here? You're the mm, guest. Oh, I like it. Uh, should we throw darts? No, just 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 grab a pair of glasses. Grab a pair. Yeah. Uh, can I go with my favorite pair actually? Oh, can I pick you have a favorite? A favorite? Pair? Not not on camera, but okay. right now. Uh, <laughs> go okay. for it. Yeah. Go for it. Uh, What's one of your favorite? One pairs? of my favorite pairs. I actually I'm a big fan of these S2s. Oh, the 100% so S2. You guys gave me one of these pairs. Sick. We actually they, did a video with Peter Sagan. Oh, did on you really? those glasses, yeah. He met Peter Sagan? Yeah, I met Peter Sagan, yeah, yeah. That was pretty cool. That's pretty sick. Yeah. Uh, that pair of glasses is like really hot right now. Put them mm -hmm. on. Yeah, really hot. No, big fan of these. They uh, just look cool. Mm -hmm. But they also work cool. But they look cool. Yeah, no, they breathe really well. I like the big design. The big design is really in right now. Uh, they fit really well. That venting. The venting, yeah, they do vent well. That etching on the bottom is pretty sick. The, the etching, colors yeah. are really nice. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. They're doing a really good job with those. And that's the S2 because before the S2 was the Speedcraft, which is still a hot pair of glasses for sure. And I don't think going away anytime soon. Very aggressive. Even though there's now an S2, yeah. which is like the Speedcraft 2. Anyways, um, this is one of my favorites. Really big, really fun. What a yeah. statement. That's a loud Like glass. This is like, hey, what's up? I'm wearing some Those shades. are very loud. Yeah, glasses. you either have to be really fast or... Um, ballsy. Yeah. You gotta be ballsy more though. Yeah. I like them. Yeah, these are pretty cool. Cool. Why don't you put them on too? Oh man, that's the speed craft. I think, you, I think you could pull it off. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know. My results you, don't say so. You're, so right you're now. fast enough. <laughs> I shouldn't be wearing those. <laughs> if I can wear them, I don't know. Oh man. No, I, I do like these. I like the 100% lenses, and they're actually really nice quality. Yeah, they they're made good. in Italy. They have Hinges some really well. the uh, lenses yeah. are getting better and better. Like they're they're doing some legit stuff. We're pretty stoked on them. Mm -hmm. Why don't we jump over to the other side of the table? All right. This is Oakley Row. Okay. There's four here. Robo they're kind of here for some specific reasons. This one is actually our best selling pair at Sport RX because really? the RX in Sport RX means we do things in. Remember when oh, we were I remember what we, I, yeah. we do a lot of things in prescription. prescription yeah, and yeah, yeah. as a non-prescription pair, this pair is really nice, really mm -hmm. comfortable, really functional. But it has a really, really wide range of RX ability options, lens colors, lens choices, progressives, bifocals, transitions. There's a lot of things you can do in it. But the real story with the Oakley Road lenses, besides the amazing frames and the RX ability, is the Prism Road mm -hmm. lens. Yeah, Why lenses, don't you just throw these yeah. on? No, lenses the are Prism really cool. Road lens is, is maybe the best road lens I've ever tested in my entire life. Yeah, these lights kind of pop. This it's is, almost like cool. not fair because if it's overcast or sunny or in the middle, it feels like the lenses change, but they don't. They have a mm. technology that like lets in the right kind of light at the right percentage of the of the spectrum, like they know what they're doing. Yeah. So the lens is pretty incredible and you can get this FLAC 2.0 XL in prescription, in Prism Road, even in a progressive if you need be, even in pretty high prescriptions. So that's the FLAC 2.0 XL. You're jumping around on me too I much. am, no, I like these too. I know can you I... do, but can we go back to these? Just, just yeah, okay, sorry. This is the cross range. It okay. also comes in a cross range XL. I wear the XL, that's the, the normal size. You should try those on. No, I like them. And the reason why I have these out here is because there's definitely definitely a trend and a feel for going towards glasses that look a little less sporty but still work really well yeah. and the cross range was specific for that so they have the unobtainium nose the unobtainium temples you actually get a second set of temples that interchange if you wanted like 
less sporty temples. Oh, it comes with kind of more dressy temples, which is really cool. But these are hardcore enough to do a full century and actually go like pretty serious mountain biking, mm. enduro riding with my pair and they stay in place. But when you're off the bike, especially if you don't have red temples, they don't like you can hang out at the cafe and not still look like you're in your Lycra, even yeah. though you got out of your Lycra. So that's kind of the idea with these. Yeah. Uh, and again, wide, wide range of RX ability. So that's the cross range and it comes bigger in the cross range XL. And we do have videos on those specifically also. I'm a big fan of the casual look on the bike. Yeah, it's yeah, really, really a thing. Like casual look. It's when been I a few years now. It's not even yeah. like, it's not even like we're ahead of the game. Mm -hmm. that, that is the game. Yeah, no, when I do my bike touring, I totally wear like aviators yeah. or, you know. Don't wear metal glasses. frames. Whoa. Plastic, casual, okay. But metal in a crash, not in, not a, we have a whole video on that. Well, I don't plan on crashing. These young kids, what are you gonna do? What are you gonna do with these young bucks? Can we do these? Yeah, put those on. All right. That's the Radar EV. EV stands for extended view, and that's the pitch size. It also comes in a slightly more narrow lens called the Path, just as a little more of a sweep design. Essentially the same exact pair of glasses minus that lens feature. The EV for extended view, specifically made for being on a road bike so mm -hmm. that when you're in the drops or in an aero position or in, in a time trial bike, okay, um, you got your head up, you're mm -hmm. not looking over the top. So there's yeah. extra frame right where you need it. Yeah, that's one of the bigger things is actually just if you can see up and it's not obstructed. Yeah, that's really like that's if you're, really if you're gonna have an actual pair of cycling frames, when you're in that bike position is the most important thing. So yeah, you don't really want to sure. be able to look over the glasses very easily. Um, on all of these, that's true. Another thing, now that we're talking about cycling frames, maybe we should just give some pointers on what to look for in cycling what frames. What to look for? Yeah, a couple things. You want some grip. So mm -hmm. the more grip, the better. You definitely want at least some grip on the nose or the temple, but ideally both. Yeah, you don't want them sliding down you your face. You don't want them sliding down. When it's hot, when you're sweating, um, and they're sliding down your face, that is annoying. Wrap around is really good for function because it's gonna block as much wind, but if you're gonna go with something a little flatter, a little bit more casual, at least go bigger so that you're getting some mm -hmm. wind protection and some light protection. So coverage is really important. And then another thing, believe it or not, a lot of people don't realize this, Straight temples are almost always preferred for yeah, cyclists no, for than, sure. than curved temples because if you put your helmet on first, which most people do, and then you have a curved temple, you're kind of trying to figure out how to like get it between the, it's just like you just go in and if you need to take them off, mm -hmm. it's a lot easier and quicker to take them off and on. And if you want to try and like get them in your helmet or if your helmet, a lot of helmets have like helmet yeah. garages yeah, or yeah, kind yeah, of yeah. a thing. Um, it's a lot easier to put it on there. So mm -hmm. straight temples is actually preferred by most uh, roadies as well. Okay, yeah. so we got the Oakley. Did we do the Jawbreaker yet? We haven't done the Jawbreaker. Should we just finish with Oakley here or should we save the Jawbreaker for later? And we can finish with Oakley. Fin last, we'll do the Jawbreaker last. Sure. Jawbreaker's good, we'll yeah. do that one last. Yeah. All right, so we got the 100%. We got some, a few, most of the Oakleys. Dude, should we go into Roca? Let's do the Rokas. Roca, I am a big fan of these glasses. They're making some good They are stuff, really dude. cool. You know, they come in at a pretty decent price point. Yeah. And they are, I mean, the lenses are really good. I love the fit on them. Is it UCLA sponsored? By we Roka? are, yes. You, you, did somebody? No, 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 no. <laughs> I, I am not paid to say this. I just, I have spent a lot of time in these glasses. Yeah. Uh, so I feel like I can give a decent opinion. Okay. Jesus, Rob. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, no, non-biased though, I do. I'm a big fan of these glasses because they're just like, they're simple, they're light, they do what they want. You know, like, like they also stay on. They stay on your face. Gecko grip is like, Thank they God. are not going, you almost like need a, they stay yeah, on. Yeah, you gotta get like pliers to pull yeah, off. That's no, not that bad, no, but they're like, super, they super are nice. not moving on you. Very light, uh, they breathe well. You know, one of the biggest things is like when it's cold out, yeah. and if you got your head down and you're breathing hard, sometimes the lenses like fog up. Yeah. Hate that, but these, they breathe well, you know. That's why you want the ventilation. And that's the SR1. So this is the SR1, yeah. I'm a big fan of these. They have some other designs. There's some really cool designs that mm -hmm. are kind of similar. There's a new one coming out that's not quite out. We actually got a sneak pre up one for our mountain bike video. It's the CP one, I believe. It's like a full frame. Oh yeah. That thing's I'll really cool that too, but um, Roka's coming up for no, sure. definitely like the Roka's. All right. And what I really like about the Roka's is, is they go in your helmet so well. Oh, they just, just, oh, they stick in your helmet. Nice. That's the only thing that really matters is if it'll go in your helmet and it's comfortable. Optics doesn't matter, performance. No, as long comfort, as you can put them in your helmet, but, that's all you want. What are you, 17 years old? What? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Anyways, we're moving okay, on. Okay, you want a balance class. Uh, why don't we do this at helmet. the same time? Because these are the same frames. One's right. bigger, one's smaller. Three, this two, is one. called the, uh, for once I was faster than you. Ah. 
Uh, this is the uh, Smith Pivlock Attack Max on me because it's bigger, and the Attack on you because it's smaller, and I have a bigger head than you, <laughs> um, metaphorically and physically, mm, okay. probably. Right. Anyways, um, these are amazing glasses, super lightweight. Talk about coverage in the drops. I mean, mm -hmm. you got lens for days up there, kind of right where you need it. And then a really cool, simple, interchangeable story. You're gonna get a darker lens and a lighter lens um, automatically when you get a pair of these and you just, look at this, you just yeah, hit you this, this little thing right here. Oh, and it's what? Magnetic, that is And it just sick. slides right out and then when you wanna get it in, you just get it in. So you're gonna get like that lighter lens and something like a little bit darker. Even the darker lenses, I think almost all of them now come chroma pop are gonna be really good contrast yeah, on the road. Nice. Even though they're the darker lenses, they're not so dark that you're losing things in the shadows and in the potholes. Really, really good lens tech with that Chroma Pop. Super, super comfortable. If you got the non-Max ones and then later one of the Max ones, could you just put new lenses in? No, no, no they're, the system doesn't integrate. It doesn't integrate. Yeah, the, the regular Pivlocks aren't hard to interchange by any means, but this is so simple and okay. easy. Yeah. yeah, no, super So I, I'm a big, big fan of those. Yeah, I, I, I like my Smiths. Uh, why don't we talk about really quick these Bollets. Oh, uh, this is the sixth sense. And actually when I went to do Ride the Rockies, Bollet sponsors Ride the Rockies. Okay. So we wore Bollets the whole time. And I had a prescription sixth sense with an embedded prescription lens in it. Oh, really? With the photochromatic lens technology. So they would get like, it was a seven day ride. Sometimes you start super early. Mm -hmm. There was like a 90 mile day with I think like 6,000 feet of climbing and you started at 6,500 and you ended up like at 11,000. Like it was I like, like it. for real. Like so you it. didn't know what the conditions were gonna be and the lenses changed for you, which was super cool. Okay. Um, so that's the Sixth Sense, really, really lightweight. Uh, I feel like people don't talk about Bole enough. No, Bole you don't does, hear much about Bole them. does some good stuff on yeah, the Yeah, you know, I like them, they yeah. look good. Yeah, Yeah. No. super comfortable. Look at that lens. Adjustable nose pad, which is really cool. Adjustable temples, which is really cool. Venting, um, photochromatic lens. I feel like, mm -hmm. plus you get that old school French flair. Like, yeah, hey, 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 hey. but hey. Yeah, I don't Maybe. know why I was Italian when I did that. Yeah, that was not. I just offended everybody, so. Oh no. Um, okay, and then we're gonna go over to Rudy Project. This is the best selling Rudy Project for us um, in that open lens design. This is the Rudy Project Ride On. Couple of things I love about it. RX ability, again, awesome options, okay. many choices, super high quality frame, but you get adjustable nose pad and it's like oh, the wow. most it's adjustable nose pad. Adjustable. Yeah, like weird. you can have a wide nose bridge, a narrow nose bridge, hard to fit, mm -hmm. like one cheek's higher than, there's like so much you can do, plus yeah, the yeah, temples. Yeah. Also, you can go also straight if you adjust. wanted a little bit like of a it. hook. If, like you could go up if you wanted to. Like you don't want to, but Stabbing. you can kind of do a lot of things with the fit on the on the uh, Rudy project mm. right on. So a great one, um, super comfortable, and these frames last. Like these yeah, are no, I super know. durable. You'll get more than a season. I've out had of those. a couple of Rudys. No, yeah. I like them. They feel just solid. Yeah, they're Unlike, well made glasses. Most of these are like plastic frames of some there's sort. There's some. Like, but like uh, what is this, I aluminum? I think there's some metal within yeah, it, no, but they're, hopefully it's far enough away if you crash, you don't hurt yourself. But no, they're, they're, they're they well made. bulletproof almost. Yeah. They're okay. bulletproof, right? They're not, they're bullet, not bullet, bulletproof. I mean, they're, they're bullet resistant. Are they really? I mean, they're polycarbonate or Trivex lenses. They're super hard to shatter. Like you'd have a hard time trying to break that lens. I can break anything. Well, I'm pretty good at crashing. Yeah. What, what have you broken on you, by the way? Uh, what's, what's recent? Can we what, not get into what's, that? What technologies do you uh, have? I got some titanium. Is part of your hip it. in your neck? <laughs> is, that, is that, how much titanium? Uh, I got titanium in my collarbone, titanium in my neck, yeah. I have eight plates and 20 screws in my face. What? You guys know that? Wait, really? Yeah, that's a Phillips head right there. You could feel it if you want. Velodrome crash. I used to race velodrome. Oh, Did you know that? No, I didn't know that. Yeah, Rob's got a trick on his sleeve or two. Holy shit. <laughs> Bleep that out. Anyways, that's my party trick for like little kids. Uh, and then we got this, to, we're gonna jump into glasses again. Wow. Tafosi Synapse. This that's is a insane. newer Tafosi, and this thing has been flying off the shelves. We love it. And we can do it in RX with the vents. What? Try it on. That's pretty crazy. That's a photochromatic lens. I like those vents. The is shape. all about bang for the buck. If mm -hmm. you're looking to not spend a boatload, but you want a lot of features and a lot of technology, 
Tofosi is not a bad option at all. It's a great choice. Yeah, actually. no, I like them. They're yeah, cool. making good stuff. Cool colorways, kind of modern stuff. I think, you know, when you consider budget, you're getting, you're, it's a great choice. Yeah, it's no. a great choice. Balance glass. That's the Synapse, and it's been kind Thumbs of up. taken over for us with our Tofosi sales. All right. Okay, are we going to, we got everything but the jaw breaker. You break some jaws? I still love these, You're, man. Yeah. Well, I actually have a broken jaw, so, I mean, now it's fixed, but that was part of the surgery. Jeez, dude. Anyways, the jaw breaker, um, full coverage, a lot of venting, super comfortable, adjustable temple. You can make it longer and shorter with this, like, little system here. We have videos on all that. These aren't the newest glasses in the lineup, but they've been around a while. And, and they're still just doing unbelievably well. Mm. Um, I just love the look, the aesthetic, the yeah, comfort. Yeah, when they came out, they kind of blew the doors off yeah, this place. Yeah, they yeah, were sick. yeah. And I think things, they don't look as wild as, it's like when a new car comes out, it's yeah. like, oh, it's too futuristic. Ah. But now, Everything's like, catching is, up, yeah, but they still, yeah, like, they they're, still, they they're more, individualistic and they're still really I think really they cool. more than hold their own. Mm -hmm. Like, this this is a serious pair of glasses. With the Prism Road, yeah, so like hard a, to beat. I, like um, I actually have a pair in my prescription with clear embedded lenses for night mountain biking because at That's night, um, you know, mountain biking is not already the super safest thing in the world not you can do. Um, but <laughs> at night, like, I just feel like I want like almost goggles on, so mm -hmm. that's why I wear these because it's like super yeah, protection. Yeah, yeah, super, super protected. Fun fact: I actually wrote the product description on your website for these. Are you serious? Mm -hmm. When you were an intern? Yep. Oh snap! I think for these too. Are you serious? Yeah, and for these. Oh man. I wrote a couple. Yeah, yeah. We got to get you back in that summer internship. Uh, no, he's, we'll he's doing applied math now. He went away from marketing. Yeah. Yeah. So you're not stupid then. Well, no, I did yeah, my UCLA I, doing applied. Math. I did my marketing internship, and the only thing I really learned is I don't want to do marketing. But that's why you do an internship. <laughs> it's better than getting a PhD in marketing and, and then, then trying to get a job yeah, and learning. Is, yeah. Should we go back to bike riding and glasses? Bike riding glasses. I think we talked about a yeah, lot of things do. here. Um, if you have any more questions, you can leave a comment down in the comment section. If you want to make fun of Evan's tan lines, please, please, <laughs> please leave a comment down in the comment section. I think we're going to find a way to get a shot of that in the I video. Think, I think you're going to put it in. Yeah, uh, we'd love for you will. to subscribe to the channel. If this video was helpful, please give it a thumbs up. Uh, yeah, sportrx.com. That's where you should get your glasses from. Later.